Hello and welcome to Monster Insights. Today we'll be showing you how to add Google Analytics to WordPress the right way. So be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you'll be notified when we post the next video showing you how to grow your website and reach your audience. In this video, we'll show you how to add Google Analytics to your WordPress site using the most powerful WordPress Analytics plugin on the market, Monster Insights. So if you're ready, we'll get started. In this very first step, you'll be signing up for a Google Analytics account. So you'll need to go to the Google Analytics website and click the Sign Into Analytics link or Start for Free button in the top right corner of the page. Next, you can log in to your existing Google account. Of course, if you don't have an account, you can click the Create Account link to create a new one. Once you've signed into your Google account, you'll need to sign up for Google Analytics. So click the Sign Up button on the right side of the page to get started. Next, you'll need to enter the settings for the site that you want to start tracking. So enter the details here for your account. We're going to enter our account name, then scroll down a little and adjust your data sharing settings and click Next. On this next page, you'll want to make sure that you select the web option at the top. Then scroll down and click Next at the bottom of the page. Now we're going to fill in the information about your website. So in this very first field, you'll need to type in the name of your site. Of course, you'll type in the name of your own site here. Next, type in your site's address. So, since we're using a secure web address, we'll use the drop-down and select the HTTPS and then type in the remainder of our URL. Now you'll come to the Industry Category drop-down menu. We're going to choose Other. Okay, in the next section, choose the country that you live in and your time zone. We'll select the United States and because we're on the East Coast, we'll choose New York for the time zone. Once you're finished, click Create. On the next page, you'll need to review and place a check in both of the boxes and click I Accept. On the next page, you'll see your tracking ID and code snippets. Now that's it. You're all signed up for Google Analytics. Now we're going to show you how to add Google Analytics to your WordPress website using Monster Insights. Monster Insights makes it super easy to use Google Analytics on your WordPress site. Usually you'd have to manually insert all of the analytic code. But with Monster Insights, you don't need to worry about messing with any of that. All right, to get started, log into your WordPress website and click on Plugins on the left sidebar and then click on Add New. Next, you'll need to type Monster Insights into the search bar. Then click on Install Now. Once the plugin's installed, click the Activate Plugin button and Monster Insights will be activated. All right, now once you've activated the plugin, click on the Launch the Wizard button and wait for the settings to load. Once everything's loaded, you'll see a Welcome to Monster Insights message. And just beneath that, you'll notice three selections, Business Website, Publisher, and E-Commerce. Now be sure to select the right category here so Monster Insights can recommend the optimal settings for your website so that you can get the most out of this fantastic plugin. Now, once you've selected the category that best describes your site, click Save and Continue. On the next screen, if you're a pro user, you'll need to enter your license key to connect Monster Insights to your website. You'll find your Monster Insights license key in the email you received when you signed up or in the account area on the Monster Insights plugin website. Of course, if you're using Monster Insights Lite, you just continue on with the setup. Click on the Connect Monster Insights button. Now after that, you're going to see an option to connect Google Analytics with your Monster Insights account. You'll need to do that. So after you do all that, just select the account that you want to connect it with. All right, now you'll need to allow Monster Insights to access your Google account, so click Allow. If you have several websites connected to your Google Analytics account, just make sure that you choose the right site. Now once you've made your choice, just click the Complete Connection button. And once that's done, it'll take just a couple of seconds to finalize the authentication, and then you'll be taken back to your Monster Insights setup page on your website. And now you're going to see the recommended settings for the Google Analytics plugin. There's some essential settings on this page, like events tracking and enhanced link attribution. Both of those are enabled by default. You'll also see file download tracking is enabled by default. This allows you to track downloadable files like doc files and exes, PDFs, PowerPoint, and so forth. Okay, now we're going to scroll down just a little further and you'll see affiliate link tracking. 
Now, Monster Insights has two affiliate link paths added by default, but you can add more if you like. The Access to Monster Insights reports allows you to choose the user roles on your WordPress site. So this really just determines who can see the reports from Monster Insights. And now we come to the automatic plugin updates. This setting allows you to enable or disable the Monster Insights plugin automatic updates. Once you've reviewed your settings, just click the Save and Continue button. In the next step, you'll see a recommendation for Monster Insights other add-ons. All right, once you're done, you're going to see a new screen with the message, Awesome, you're all set. Now you've successfully installed Google Analytics to your WordPress site. Now, how long it's going to take before you start seeing tracking on your site really depends on the size of your website. Uh, but it can take anywhere from a few hours up to about 24 hours. Before you leave this screen, please don't forget to click the Finish Setup and Exit Wizard button. And once you've done that, that's it. You've successfully added Google Analytics to WordPress the right way. Now all you have to do is wait for Google Analytics to begin collecting data about your WordPress website. You'll see a quick summary of the website analytics report right on your dashboard using the Monster Insights widget. To see the full reports, you can either go to the sidebar and click on Insights and then Reports, or you can use the button right next to the widget. From there, you'll see the analytics overview and all the other reports by clicking on the links at the top of the page. Using the Monster Insights plugin, you'll be able to track things like your top landing pages. You'll see which links and buttons are getting the most clicks, and you'll be able to discover the keywords that people are typing in to find your site using the Search Console report. Using Monster Insights, you can easily track advanced metrics like e-commerce transactions and custom dimensions. And you can even track impressions and submissions with form tracking. Now you know how to add Google Analytics to WordPress the right way. So what are you waiting for? Get started with the most powerful and user-friendly WordPress Analytics plugin on the market. Monster Insights is used by over 2 million professionals to grow their businesses with confidence and offers a 14-day money-back guarantee. If you enjoyed this video tutorial, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell to be notified when the next video is posted. In the meantime, follow us on Facebook and Twitter for more free tips, tricks, and tutorials for WordPress.